expectations, from the looks and stereotypes, from American complacency. They asked us this week. So these students are going to America for the first time next month. Tell them what it's like to be in America. Oh, oh okay. Oh, wow. What is it like to be an American? Uh, I don't know what to tell them. Uh, how do I translate the experiences of my skin? How, how do I reach them? Uh, I guess I'll, I'll try. Meow. Uh, 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 my Chinese is really bad, so I'm going to have to talk to you all in English. I look around the room, and there are not the connection. When our intentions reach, despite every mistake, every blunder, every miscommunication, from the fairy walking tattoo artist Castillo to the college basketball player Pan Yan, who wore a Martin Luther King shirt, your intentions cross borders, cross language, and they hear you, the connection. But it's terrifying. You ask yourself, what did they see? Did, did they understand? Did I say that right? The wonder and the excitement, your fingers tingle like the first time you order a bow or you mess up your tones, or you end up with chicken cartilage when you got your order chicken nuggets, or, or when you ask the man where the nearest bathroom is on a mountain and he just laughs at you. <laughs> a connection. They smile, you poop in the bushes. chicken <laughs> cartilage. He tries to convince you to get a tattoo done in his room. He shows you what Chinese hospitality is. You make mistakes. You end up on the wrong train, you get lost in the middle of Chengdu, but every moment is a connection, and every connection has a memory that ties you together. And her shirt said, I am my ancestors' wildest dreams, and he held up his hand, he said, Eva Kwa, and told them that pictures cost money. But I know that the ancestors that come with the skin look down on us, and in those moments, they smile down upon us because they know Despite our differences, we're all interconnected.